All right, welcome back to Clay Life Studio. Today I'm gonna to show you how to throw a really small bowl. Um, really small pieces, um, there's a limited amount of space here for your hands to work. So I'm gonna show you how I deal with that. Um, the first thing I look at is there's not a lot of clay here. So there's not a lot of mass attached to the bat. So the first thing I do, instead of, normally I lean in, I kick up the piece and then I push back down. But because there's not much grab here, I'm actually going to reverse that. I'm going to rest my hand just gently using this part up against. And I'm going to push down first. So I grab my thumb and I push down. And now I should have a good seal holding this down. So now we'll try coming up and hopefully it doesn't scoot. Sometimes you start to push and you feel it get loose. Stop what you're doing and push back down. Okay. So what am I doing different than normal? Well, normally I only bring the tip of my pinky to the middle, but in this case I have to rotate over because it gives me more space between the two hands. The other thing is, is I like to roll my hand more palm down, but when I'm doing these small ones, I find that I'm very straight up and down most of the time. And what I try to do is just pitch forward a little bit on each pass, each time I make contact. So kind of at the end, you'll see me uh, rotate forward. So I'm fairly straight up and as I finish I kind of roll over that edge a little bit. I'm going to push back down, straighten back up, and then roll over just a little bit and come off slow. And there we go. So that's centering. Clean this back off even though there's no clay here to, to clean up since it's so small. Add a little water. Now opening I'll still open with thumbs. In fact, anything small, I prefer thumbs to the finger method. The trick here is space. Uh, I'm going to roll my fingers of the left hand forward, and I'm going to roll my right hand. I'm going to bring the fingers back so that they're not getting in each other's way. My elbows are still down on my knees. I'm just going to go down nice and slow in the middle. The other difference you probably notice is normally I start and then I stop. I add water and then I finish. But in this case it's so small I just go ahead and drop all the way in. Clean this up again. Two fingers in, maybe one on top. I'm going to just pull back with my fingertips. And do you see how I bring these fingers? I just kind of roll them in. I like these hands connected. So between these two fingers and my thumb, I am in essence grabbing the fingers that are on the inside. And it also allows me to drop one finger in or two fingers into the inside. And I pull back with my fingertips. Now because this is a bowl, I'm gonna go just a little bit wider. And this is the style of bowl I would do. If someone asked me for, uh, like um, I did uh, wedding gifts for somebody. They, they had their wedding and they wanted uh, a bowl on every single table for their guests as a, a guest gift. Um, and I threw this size bowl. They're nice for adding, you know, a little spice to some meal, a sauce for some meal, something to dip into. Um, and it's just a nice gift size. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a knuckle pull. I would struggle to do fingertips when they're this small, but a lot of people do like that. This is Ronan, the shop dog. Hi, buddy. Hi. I'm gonna go ahead and do a knuckle pull. Two fingers on the inside. Make sure this hand is nice and wet. This thumb either sets right here in the crook or on top, but make sure they're connected even on a small piece. I make the effort to make sure they're touching each other and you'll see me putting pressure down with my elbows onto my knees. That makes me nice and steady. The other thing you probably have noticed if you've watched a bunch of these is how tight I squeeze in with my knees on this pan. Here we go. Now I'm working at four o'clock. I'm coming up nice and slow and steady and easing off. There's not a lot of clay here. You're not gonna have to push hard. You're not gonna have to pinch hard. Just a little bit of pressure is going to get it done. In fact, if you get a little carried away, you're probably just going to tear right through it. So here we go again. Up nice and easy. Add a little bit of water. I always clean this off. Get that back off of there. 
And we're already most of the way there. Pushing out now, ever so gentle, outside hand, really easy. Once you have the height, remember if you push from both sides, inside and out, your wall is going to disappear. It's going to get weak and fall. Uh, so the outside hand now is putting virtually no pressure. Inside hand is pushing this piece into the curve that I need, the belly I need, for this to look right. And really, to be honest, I could stop right here. I could simply make a little line here and then finish the rim, which I'm also going to use a tool because this is so small. When you see me do the bigger ones, I use my fingers to make this indentation. But when they're really small, this edge of any rib will get the job done beautifully. So this would be done, but let's say that you want a little bit more shape. You want to flare on yours. Uh, I do like this style for the, um, the purpose of dipping, but sometimes it's really fun to go ahead and bring this out. So what I would do if I wanted to do that is I'd come up, and this is going to get really crowded here, I think I'll go to fingers since I have enough wall. I'm going to do two fingers. I'm coming out, coming out, coming out, stopping with that finger now on the outside. And look what happens on the inside. I keep pushing out. I roll over the outside finger. So this clay is, in essence, just going to lay right on top of here. I bring this finger off first, and I come off with the other and clean it out. And there you go. I hope that helped. I'll see you next time.